92.9 KJEE. We've been hooking you up all this week. Before you can even buy them, what am I talking about? Tickets to Summer Roundup this year, September 18th, Santa Barbara Bull with New Politics, Atlas Genius, and Blink-182 on the line. Tom DeLong from Blink-182. Tom! Yeah, it's me! <laughs> How are you? I'm doing so Hi. good. Last time we talked, you were actually here with your other band, Angels and Airwaves, and you were in studio hanging out. I know, I know, and now I'm in a, I'm going to try and be in a different band every time we talk. That would be just, cool. Just to be like, just to like make it, you know, a little bit diverse. Nice. So I looked at your Facebook a while back, and is Blink-182 working on a seventh studio album? Oh, don't you want to dig out information, guy? We, <laughs> uh, I am not at liberty to talk about anything, but I do own a studio, and I have been known to show up and record stuff from time to time. So I did do a post the other day, and yes, I have a brand new Blink song that I am working on at this point, and a bunch of other stuff as well. So we started a while ago, kind of passing on music, so that, that's a work in progress, absolutely. And that's kind of what you guys did for your last album that dropped back in 2011, Neighborhoods. You had Travis and Mark doing stuff in L.A., and you're just kind of kicking back at your home studio doing your stuff. Yeah, I, I uh, just laid down on a patio with my clothes off and just had people mic up my naked body and I just sent those audio files up to their studio where they were working hard. And do you feel that process kind of worked or worked against the band? I think it was a pretty disgusting way to work. So what I'm going to do this time is I'm actually going to show up at the studio and actually work like a real musician, I think. No, no miking of anyone's body parts or anything like that? I remember the first time I got a real studio, Mark was doing a naked car wheel and the engineer freaked out because it was like this uber expensive mic. We were basically like, you know, doing this acrobatic 69 in the, in the small little room. And uh, so when you talk about nudity and microphones, I, I actually have real memories. How much naked recording went into Dog Eating Dogs, the EP that just dropped what late last year december 2012 was there a lot of naked recording going on when you guys did for instance boxing day no sad to say that that was a more serious side of the band on that ep but you know hey we're we are unpredictable we are artists we are are very healthy in some ways so maybe we will do something different on the next ep or album or whatever we call this thing well, I, I hope it's going to be an album, because if so, it'd be your seventh studio album, and I think the fans would kind of dig it. But it seems like you guys are accustomed to being naked. I mean, if you really think about it, the video for What's My Age Again, you guys are basically running around naked. Oh, that was a great idea until like, the first day we were naked downtown L.A., and guys are driving by calling us, you know, homosexual rhetoric. <laughs> <laughs> they were we just were like, jealous I remember we were like What a dumb idea this was You, know, but, you can't yeah, really take really the music not. industry seriously right <laughs> That is true We were known to have uh, have a good time And how much of a good time are you going to have Come September 18th up here in Santa Barbara Playing KJE Summer Roundup I am excited Santa Barbara is one of the best places on earth So we will very much enjoy our time there It's an easy drive back to my house in San Diego So I feel like we're Neighbors all around, great thing for me because I don't have to work too hard. I'm generally around people that kind of like me because it's California. I'm not far from home, so I don't feel like, you know, homesick. You guys got Mexican food, so I'm stoked on that regard. We are excited to come, and we'll be there, and we really appreciate you asking us to play. It's, it's an honor, as always, to be involved with you guys at the last uh, real radio station in the world, so we appreciate it that you're still thinking of us. His name is Tom DeLong. Maybe Blink-182 is working on a new seventh album. You can go pick up their brand new EP, Dog Eating Dogs. It's out right now. And definitely see him September 18th at KJEE Summer Roundup. Thank you, Tom, for calling. We really, really appreciate your time. Awesome. Thank you so much.